Now we're going to talk about boron. Boron is the uh, next element on the periodic table. Got to continue to think outside the box. It has an atomic number of 5 and an atomic weight of 11. So it's got 5 uh, protons and 6 neutrons. What holds them together? Another magic strong force. And it has a valence of plus 3. So what we have here is you've got two electrons that orbit at the speed of light under this old theory at the lower level, and then you have three at the outer layer. Uh, and so it has a valence of supposedly these three electrons are going to hook up and hold a compound together. And so now we're going to compare this to the key ring atom. Boron is a semi-metallic element. It is more dense okay, than lithium uh, or beryllium. So we're going to show you why it's denser now in the key ring atom. Well, first of all, let's look at the proton ring configuration. It is a C5-3L2. One, two, three, four, five at the center. Three legs, one, two, three. And each one has two in length. Now, one of the things you've got to look at here is the density or the concentration of the proton rings at the center of the atom is what causes it to be more dense than each of the other elements that we've looked at. Now, as you can see, there's two leg or three legs here with two in each each uh, leg. That's where these are going to connect to in the compound. And of course, when you fill the uh, electron rings in, this is what it looks like. Notice, satisfies the electron cloud you can't see in the center. Holds together. This holds together. This holds together. This has to have magic forces. Can't really explain when you go from one to the next why it changes so much chemically. This one, look at it, you can see why it's going to act different chemically. Now, if you're starting to see it, all right, if you can think maybe, maybe, just maybe, there's something wrong with this, and you're ready to think outside the box, you need to continue on because we've got a lot more exciting stuff. If you want to stay in the box, stay in the box. Just remember, physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.